What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at one of the later, latest, Anchor Prime components that they've released in their Prime line. And that happens to be this supercharged multi-port desktop charging station. So, uh, Anchor is well known. They've uh, been established in the power uh, field for quite some time. They also have uh, a lot of other little sub lines that they do uh, from sound as the, as the Anchor Sound Core. And um, they also do some uh, multimedia. So if you're interested in looking at some of their other products, they do dabble in multiple areas. And, and all their technologies are very, very uh, sound, quality driven, safety driven, and definitely use case driven. So. Uh, they did send the show this to review, so but they haven't edited any of this content. This is my own information and uh, coming at you. So this first part, we're just going to unbox this and uh, feel free. I do have um, like a way to skip ahead in the show notes if you want to look at that and take a look. And if you're like, yeah, I'm not here for the unboxing, then uh, you can click on the the uh, link there and then it'll basically take you to whatever part of the video that you want to jump to. So let's go ahead take a look at this bad boy. This is for Apple, Samsung and more so it's compatible across multiple uh, technology stacks and again it's their Prime Ultra fast charging and it is a fast charging device. 200 watt total output so that has some juice behind it. And that's going to be passed through four USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. So you're getting basically six ports to organize your desk and basically have your all-in-one charging station where you need it, right? So you're getting six ports in total. This Bose Scan technology, Active Shield 3.0. And their Active Shield 3.0 is, is basically um, like their, their safety technology, right? So uh, we'll get into a little bit of that. Again, 200 watts Active Shield, universal compatibility, and I think we've covered everything else. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy and take a look at what's in the box. And here we go. And in the box, so we've got the actual charger itself. There you go. Very, very nice quality build. It's it's heavy, so it's got four little rubber feet on it. They're not very big, but the weight, and then those should keep it from really sliding around. Uh, it's got a little grooved, you can hear that. Um, aluminum build around it. Very, very nice quality, a nice black faceplate. It's glossy, so it will be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet if that dis distracts you. And then you've got your four USB-C with the uh, IQ, the power IQ technology. We'll get into that here in a sec. And then basically, uh, this is your most powerful port, it looks like. It says, hey, plug in your laptop here. And then you've got, um, again, some power IQ USB-As and then a Port in the back for the wall connectivity to the AC outlet. Get an instruction book, and then of course the gargantuan cable up here because it's going to be packing some punch. And it is grounded, so again, these are very very safe. And I would I would recommend if you're going to go with technology to charge, go with something you're you know and you've heard of, right? I mean, you're plugging in thousand dollars worth of electronics that you've invested in into this thing right don't go get something off Timu because it's cheap um, stick with the name brands I've heard too many I'm in IT and I've heard too many stories of people frying their equipment because they invested in uh, a cheaper power solution and, and it's across the board not just little not just desk chargers but USB chargers and stuff like that don't get the cheap crap when it comes to your chargers. I'm telling you. All right. So again, we got about oh, let's see. Is this a? I think I think this was like a five foot cable or something like that. So very very thick. And again, um, 
There is no ground on that one. Oh, surprising. So, uh, no ground plug for the uh, cable itself. A little bit uh, surprising on that. So, quick specs on this bad boy. So, already covered that there's um, the USB-C ports. Now, two of them actually have 100 watt each. Right? The USB-A ports are 22.5 watt max output for one. And if you're using both, you're going to get 12 watts. It's basically going to kind of break that in half, right? If you're using all four of these USB-C ports, even though you're going to get 100 watts on two of them max, if you use all four, you're now going to divide that down into 65 and 65 and 45 and 25, right? So it's going to spread those 200 watts out across all four ports. You're not going to get 200 watts in one port. You're going to get that spread out across all four. That's kind of what the Power IQ is trying to do. It's trying to balance the load. It's trying to connect to your device you're plugging into this and saying, how can I charge you safely? What 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 current do you need? And how much you know can I take it to you? Because you don't want to overcharge, you don't want to overheat. So the Power IQ technology is there to do just that. Okay? Now I mentioned Active Shield. Their Active Shield technology is actually kind of more overheating. So it checks 24 hours a day, five, six million times to make sure that that's not overheating, right? So that's definitely another uh, safety feature. So it's um, got output high voltage protection, input uh, current regulation, output current regulation, input short circuit regulation, same with the output, and then output temperature control. So all of that is baked into Active Shield 3.0 technology. So it's got a lot of safety features. I'm telling you, you want to invest in a power source that's that's rated and it has safety features. Then that's what you're looking for. All right. So let's go ahead and pause the video. We're going to plug this bad boy in, and we're going to connect some devices to it, and we're going to try to see what we get. And really, if you're looking to get minimal on your desk setup, put this on your nightstand, you could throw this in your travel bag, uh, it's definitely going to provide some organization and some quality safe charging for your devices. This look, look great on a desk, okay? Alright, we're going to pause the video, we're going to come back and plug this bad boy in and give you a quick little demonstration and we'll, we'll end the video after that. Alright guys, welcome back, and as you can see here, we've loaded up two of the USB-C ports and the, both of the USB-A ports, and we are charging four of my devices all at one time, um, and drawing, obviously, different currents, okay? So, I've got my iPhone 15 Pro Max plugged into the USB-C, uh, it's charging. I've got my uh, Air Selfie power bank, it's charging. This is in the USB-A. So again, we already talked about we're using both, so we're only going to get about 12, 12 watts out per USB-A. Is what it is. There's going to be a little bit slower. Uh, I've got the X-Real Beam. Uh, it's sitting here charging, and it's really low. Uh, you can see it's on the very first one, so it's going to be charging up. And then I've got my handheld game system here uh, charging up. As you can see, I don't know if it shows. There's a little light right here, LED showing that it's getting a good charge. So, put all your stuff, now you can definitely do cable management, I just threw these on here. The whole goal is this to centralize your, your, your charging on, you know, your desk or wherever for this charge station here, and charge quickly and powerfully and do it correctly, right? So that's the whole goal here. So you can make it look a little bit better than I have. I just threw it on here for the review and we've got four of them charging up. Unfortunately, I don't have enough meters to basically show what everything is getting, um, but there are smart versions of this guy, okay? This is probably like the entry level desktop charger that they have. And I'll have a link in the show notes to where you can look at some of their other Prime technologies, and you can actually use an app and gauge it. And we're going to look at one of their devices coming up here real soon, so if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and when we do the next one, which is going to be a little more powerful and a little more bells and whistles than this guy, because um, we're going to increment up, 
okay? And really think you're going to like the next one because it's got a lot of cool stuff. And it's app controlled. You can see every port, get live real-time feedback on what it's doing. You can control it anywhere in the world. That's an amazing technology, and we're going to review that next. Check the show notes for a link for this guy if you want to read more about it. I tried to cover all the specs and the highlights and everything, give you some use cases as a little demonstration, and hopefully that answered your questions. But again, if not, Google it. Do your own research. Please feel free to leave a comment and ask anything. I will be putting this on my desk and using it. And if I have any show-stopping updates other than what I've covered here, I'll come back and put a pinned comment at the top and kind of say update two weeks later, three weeks later, whatever. And that's only if there's something out of the ordinary. So no news is good news. If you don't see a pin and you're coming back here a month later, nothing there, consider this. I have no problems. And I continue to use it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.